Well, hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video, we're going to look at installing CoolBeans. Now, CoolBeans is NetBeans 10, but with a lot of the added extras that Apache have constraints which they can't ship. So you may actually want to install CoolBeans because it has a lot more items in it. So let's have a look. Now, first of all, you need to go to CoolBeans XYZ. And this is the main screen for the web page. And here is just a screenshot. You can have whatever color you like. It defaults to the uh, black on white or the color on white, not this one here, but you can add that if you so wish. You can then choose what you wish to download, Windows, Mac OS, or the zip. The zip is for the Linux distributions, and you would install that very much the same way as you would install NetBeans 10 uh, for Linux. So if you need to see how to do have a look at the video, and I'll put a link at the top. So here we're on Windows. It's more or less exactly the same for Mac OS. There's, there's no real difference. But let's have a look at what extras you get and what CoolBeans is. First of all, it's a distribution. So what MLN Bold has done is he's taken NetBeans 10 and he's <coughs> added into it, excuse me, he's added into it some of the extras that are missing in NetBeans 10 and he's packaged it into an installer. Now the installer isn't signed, so you're going to get a security notice when you try and run it. I'll go through that with you in a moment. but. It is uh, safe to install. What is a distribution? Well, a distribution is you take the, the, the base code and then you add the various different extras to it which are not in the base code, which is not in the Apache code. So, for example, it does have the Enterprise Edition of Java and it has a lot more actually added in with the PHP and that type of thing. Now, who is MLN Bold? Well, it actually tells you who he is here and he was the release manager for Apache NetBeans 9 and he has a lot of experience with with NetBeans so I would strongly recommend that you need to you, you download this instead of the Apache version because this is actually a much better system please note that this is not in any way associated with Apache NetBeans. What it is, is it's a distribution. So they've actually taken the Apache NetBeans code, they've taken the code, they've added to it, they've made changes to it, and then they've packaged it into an installer, which is something which they're allowed to do. So if you click on download for Windows, it will take you to the download page, and the download will start after about five seconds. Now I've already downloaded this because it takes about four minutes or five minutes to come down but we'll have a quick look at the download page and I will uh, come out of it before it actually starts downloading. So when it says download you can see it will begin in a number of seconds and you have some mirrors which you can uh, cancel the download. Okay you can choose a different mirror if you wish Okay, so that's downloading Cool Beans, and as you can see, I've downloaded it, and it's in the folder that I downloaded it to. So to install it, very simple, click on it. Click on Run. Now, if you're on Windows 10, you're going to get a blue box saying all sorts of really, really nasty things are going to happen. I can tell you this now, it's not. Okay, we've just had the user account control, and this is on Windows 7, but on Windows 10, you'll get a big blue box which says, this is really bad for you, don't install it, panic, you know, frogs are going to land on your head, all sorts of nasty things are going to happen. Well, don't worry about that, because there's a little item which is not highlighted, it says more information. If you click on that, you will then be able to install it. Um, it's simple as the installer is not signed. So that's the only reason why you're getting this really horrendous 
notification on Windows 10. It really is a bit over the top. Okay, so click yes to install and I'm on two monitors here. So accept the agreement, click on next, decide where you want it to put it, click on next. Create a desktop shortcut. This is because it doesn't seem to create a menu item. So I would create a desktop shortcut. Click on next. Tells you what it's going to do. Click on install. Now this will take a moment so I'll just speed it up and we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, it's nearly finished installing and extracting the files. So you can actually launch Cool Beans, which is what I will do now. You have a different launch screen, which is a rather pretty one of some ferns covered in ice. I can't show it to you. It's on, an, it's on a different monitor, unfortunately. But it will take a moment or two, and we'll come back when it's finished doing its first time setup. Okay, so this is Cool Beans. It's found my plugins and so on from a different version of NetBeans, so it's found it from NetBeans 10. I'll let it um, scan the projects just for now and start up, and then we'll discuss what's here and so on. Okay, so what's different about Cool Beans? Well, first of all, there doesn't seem to be any noticeable difference. If you click on Tools, Plugins, you'll find that there are a number of plugins installed, which includes Java Web and EE, which is not in the NetBeans 10. There are also some other items. You've got tools. We've got it's found my user installed plugins, which is good, and the base ID. As you can see, all of these are active. On yours, this might not be the case, and you'll need to come over to installed and activate it. The other way of activating something is to create a new project. And when you actually click on the item, it will actually ask you whether you want to activate that. So if we did that, for example, you'd get a, if it wasn't activated, you'd get a screen up saying, would you like to activate? You can see you've got the various different PHP versions. So PHP 7.3. In fact, I think I've only got 7.2 on this uh, machine. I'll need to check. And so on. And it... it puts it in the default folders and that type of thing. You've got all the same items that you would have with the frameworks and that type of thing, and it also includes installing Composer and so on. I'm not going to actually create this. I'm going to click Cancel. As to options, and again, on the wrong screen, so it's very, very similar to NetBeans 10. You've got all the same ones. There's uh, all your different framework and tools for PHP. In Java, you've got the same Java things. You've even got Nashorn as well, which is not necessarily available in NetBeans 10. The C++, uh, sorry, the CSS processors and that type of thing. One of the things that you don't have is C++. Yes, so that seems to be the only one that's missing is the C++. But everything else is here. I've got my Emmet, I've got my color codes preview, that type of thing. Okay, so that means it's very, very similar to NetBeans 10. It does virtually all the same things. It just has an installer and it actually has extra items packaged with it, like the Enterprise Edition of Java and Java Web and that type of thing as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. My name's John and I'll see you next time.